so when you talk about appraisals for custom homes, it can, it's a double-edged sword. You know, we deal with it on a, on a daily. And I'll give you a great example. Um, a lot of times when we, we price a house out and we'll send it to the bank, a lot of these appraisers are not very savvy when it comes to reading blueprints. And, you know, so when, a, when an appraiser can't read a blueprint, a lot of times they're going to err on the side of caution and appraise a house at a lower price. And I can tell you through multiple years of experience in doing this, I've had appraisers call and say, hey, how many bedrooms are in this house? I'm like, you got the blueprints. Yes, but I'm not sure how I read them. Or how many square feet? You got the blueprints. Yeah, but I can't find it. So it's going to be hard for them to appraise that. Now, most appraisers are used to going out and physically walking a house or looking at a house, taking pictures, and they have a lot better idea of how that house should look. So, you know, in our experience, a lot of times a, a custom house will appraise at or a little bit below what we say it's going to build for. And then once the house is built, usually it's at or above where we have it at. And I the think the biggest difference is when you can physically see that house and and, and have a better idea and get the layout and to walk, walk through it because it's hard for a lot of people to take a set of plans and, and in their mind, take that from something on paper to something that's physically in front of you. So, you know, don't be surprised if you get an appraiser or an appraisal if you're doing a new custom home that's, that's at cost or a little bit below. Uh, we've seen it time and time again because once the house is built and the bank gets another appraisal on it, Typically, it's you know, thirty to fifty thousand dollars more than what it appraised for originally. That's that's our experience anyway.